Hello everyone, this is Ethan Oshara, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build this cow farm that exists here in our multiplayer server. So uh, here we got uh, the outside of it here. This is completely cosmetic. Obviously uh, this isn't required for the build, but I'll show you a little bit of uh, the building here. So this is the front. It's got that tower sticking out of it at the top, which I will show you in a minute. So let's walk inside here. See, we got the actual farm itself, and we got this uh, staff-only access here, which, ah, that's a bit uh, off limits. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, but up here, we have the actual control center, so we can uh, actually feed the cows here and get the breeding going. So, how it works is... Uh, you get some wheat, so I actually have some wheat on me right now, and you press this button here, and this gets the water going, and that will allow these guys to jump up and down like this, and they are very interested in this wheat, so I'm going to feed them. You get these hearts going, and watch down the bottom there. All the babies are spewing out the bottom there. Look at that. Look, all the little babies are in here. They fall down. There are signs... Uh, one, two, three signs, and then a dispenser. And then all the babies flow down through the water stream. Oh, wow, where are they going? They're going to this restricted area. So let's go through here. And they go down the water stream and into this pit right here. Now, when they grow up, there is a dispenser with lava in it. So then you can kill them like this. Look, it's amazing. So then uh, you get the cooked steak and the babies survive there was a couple adults in there that are already grown up but the babies do survive which is really cool and when they grow up uh, you can press the button and they will die all right so that's about how it works there is no redstone involved uh, just this one dispenser here uh, if if you do want to add one extra feature which I've done here it does require a little bit of redstone but I really like it uh, so you'll notice that light up there, and you were probably wondering, what does that do? What could it possibly be? So that light up there actually tells you when it, they're ready to breed. So cows can breed every five minutes, and if we breed them here, this will reset uh, the timer on this light. So this light will turn on after five minutes. So we, if you breed them, put them back down like this, then they will wait five minutes and then this light will turn on letting you know that it's time to go so the way that works is there's actually a dispenser down here that shoots an item onto a pressure plate and then it takes five minutes to despawn and there's a redstone line going under here bloop 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 up there to the lights so that's just a little extra feature that i really like so then once that item despawns there you go the light's on now and they're ready to breed but not really because we just breeded them but just to show you there that's what it looks like when it's on and as you can see, that large tower acts as sort of a beacon, so you can see if the cows are ready to breed from any distance away. Right, so how do you actually build this? So, let me uh, jump in here and show you how it works. The cows stand on this glass block here, and there is a dispenser right next to this block. The, the second block is covered all by glass, so they can't get out. But there's one block space here, so the babies are one block tall, so they can come out. And there is signs here, here, and here, one block apart from the blocks, just so when you place the water, it doesn't flow everywhere. Right, so that's that. That's basically the entire farm right there. You just have a water stream, one water stream that aligns them against one block. They get pushed onto this slab. There's a sign here, water stream that pushes them over there, another sign, and they drop down. That is all there is to it. Extremely simple. Probably one of the most efficient ways to do it. All you need is a stockpile of cows here, probably about 30 to 50, uh, maybe a bit more if you want, depending on how fast you want it to be. And then you will have all the steak you could ever want. That is the farm, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did enjoy this video and subscribe if you want more tutorials like this. So that's going to do it for today for this cow-tastic video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.